Hello Aries and welcome back for another tarot reading. Today's readings Aries is to find out your person's current feelings about you. So this is a general Aries so it may or may not resonate with you. So just take the part that fits, discard the rest because it only means that this is not your reading at this time. Feel free to reverse the roles Aries as you feel like you need to. Now Aries this is your person's Whoever you are thinking about, whoever is on your mind, in your energy field, this is how they currently feel about you, Aries, okay? And we're going to do this reading with the Love Oracle cards here, okay? Aries. Coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted friendship. So your person wants to conversate with you. Your person feels like you guys have amazing conversations, like when you guys are around each other. This person really feels uplifted from your nurturing conversations, Aries. But this is a karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, uh, letting go and loving you. So your person identifies that this is a very unhealthy relationship. Uh, I feel like you guys are not together, but this person wants to reach out and talk to you. Now, this person could be a karmic, but this is a karmic relationship with you and your person at this time, Aries. Not enough, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. So your person has ego uh, issues here. Uh, at the bottom it says hand of cards, take a chance, risk being strategic. Options, not showing hands, gambling. So your person has been intentionally self-sabotaging you guys' connection here because this is a karmic relationship. Uh, it's for you guys to learn something here. But I feel like you guys have separated temporary. I don't know how long, but I can tell that there's a separation here. I also feel like this person is not enough right now because they are in karmic nature. Uh, but I can tell this person wants, this person is missing you. This person wants to conversate with you here. Okay, so show me some more energy for Aries and Aries person, please. death so see this relationship is over but it gives the opportunity for a new beginning i feel like your person needs to be transformed your person needs to tap into their higher self here your person is operating in karmic energy here uh that's my grandson y'all just ignore him if you can here so let's see if you have justice here so i feel like you've made a, the 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 choice uh aries was to disconnect from this relationship because it wasn't a fair balanced relationship this per this person uh did not treat you fair it was not an equal give and take with this connection that's why you got not enough here this person wasn't giving you enough because they were in their shadow side here but even in all this karmic energy, Aries, this person is still missing you and wanting to talk to you. Two of Wands. So you're turning your back on this person and you're deciding to go in another direction, Aries. Uh, but I feel like or this person wants to turn their back on other things, other distractions, and they want to focus on you. Uh, but I feel like it's only when you guys separate this person feels this way. Because remember, this is a karmic relationship. Can I get some more information for Aries and Aries person, please? What is up with Aries person spirit? So we have the Ace of Cups want to show up in reverse, but I'm not going to do reverses. We have this Ten of Wands and we have this Ace of Cups. So your person life is a burden to them right now because they have a lot of challenges in their personal life here. Uh, but I feel like your person, um, I feel like even though this relationship has ended, I feel like your person still wants a new beginning with you. But they're going to have to make some changes though because right now it's just going to be a toxic relationship. This person has a lot of burdens in their own personal life that's karmic because they need to do some spiritual work here, I feel. But they want to rush in, though. They do want, they do desire you. They think you're absolutely uh, beautiful, attractive. They have a lot of sexual energy towards you, but it's it's uh, it's selfish energy. Because I feel like this person, uh, this person, so this person is in love with you. There's no shadow. I don't feel like this person is, is a lack of love because you got the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So I feel like this person wants to start over with you. I feel like this person is in love with you. 
Uh, and I feel like this person now, if this, this, this death card could represent an ending and then a new beginning. So I feel like there was an ending. And I also feel like your person does want to come back in now and uh, clean things up between the two of you. But it is a karmic relationship, but your person's going to have to release these burdens, these things that is a distraction with this relationship because they in love with you. They want to come back. You're this person's wish fulfilled. Now, this person could be overindulging in things here that's, that's uh, causing this relationship to be a karmic relationship. But you do have justice card here now. Either you're going to, uh, you know, exact your own justice here and just keep this relationship ended or your person wants to come back in and bring justice back to the situation because in the past they did not treat you fairly. Oh, okay. Well, so they've got some healing in here. You have temperance. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, another a fire sign, a water sign here, or even an air sign, a Libra here. So this person wants to come back in. This person wants to... Uh, this person wants to give equally. This person needs to, uh, I feel like this person's been releasing some things. This person has been uh, trying to get their energy back on track here. Uh, I feel like your person has picked up either some habits or some type of toxic behaviors because of maybe the company that they kept. Uh, but pertaining to you, they're trying to come back in. They miss talking to you here. So let me clarify this 10 of Wands here. Spirit, clarify this 10 of Wands for Aries person's current feelings for Aries, please. Clarify this 10 of Wands, please. Why is this 10 of Wands here for Aries person in this karmic relationship? How does this person feel about Aries spirit? Their current feelings. Clarify 10 of Wands. Ten of Wands is the moon card here. So your person, the burden is that your person has a lot of hidden secrets here. I feel like your person does not want you to know their shadow side. I feel like this person is, is, is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde with you, Aries. They put on a face to you when they're with you, but when they're not with you, they're doing all kind of things. What is this moon card, Spirit? Clarify the moon. Four of Shores. The four of wands here. So what this person may be trying to hide from you is that they already have some type of relationship here. So this person may already be involved in a relationship here, but it seems like they want to turn their back on that relationship because this relationship is a burden to them. They're not happy with it. And I feel like they may be in a karmic relationship with someone else that they want to end it with. Uh, in order to come towards you because you are their wish fulfilled. That's what I see. Now that I see this four ones here, so your person, other than you, Aries, your person current feelings is that they're dealing with releasing a karmic relationship so that they can come towards you because you are their wish fulfilled. So I feel like this person shortchanged you, crumbed you, did not treat you fairly because they was too busy giving to another commitment. But this person is trying to release these things, this karmic relationship that they're in because they're trying to come towards you. Who child, who child, who child. Let me pull, uh, let me see. What can I pull? What can I pull? Let me pull an angel answer for you. Let's see what the possible outcome is for you guys' connection here. spirit give me some messages give me a possible outcome for aries and aries person please what's the possible outcome spirit what is the possible outcome between aries and aries person what's the possible outcome for aries and aries person spirit one card for Aries, the possible outcome for Aries and Aries person spirit. What is the possible outcome? It's Wednesday, y'all. Possible outcome, Aries, is recovery. This is the possible outcome between you and your person, Aries, is to recover. 
you guys are going to recover things that were, were lost in this connection here. So recovery is like you're going to get it together here, Aries. And this is now this is a general. So look, don't come for me if they don't come back and they don't act right. I'm just telling you what the energy is telling you. It's telling you that your person is in a karmic relationship somewhere else that they're trying to end because they're trying to come back to you to recover which was lost between you guys' connection. All right, Aries, this is your reading. So if you're, if this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave me a comment, Aries. And I'll talk to you on another video. Bye, Aries.